Have you ever wondered why some of your attachments download, others save, and yet others open in a new window? Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. To get to the bottom of this quandary, I ran a series of experiments that revealed some interesting results. This video is brought to you from the QuickBase Junkie blog. Head over to quickbasejunkie.com slash blog to follow along. For each of my experiments, I downloaded these eight different file types from three different browsers using two different methods. Note that I'm using a Mac computer, so your experience may differ slightly from mine. For my first experiment, I used the Chrome browser and the standard file attachment link to download the files. The results were okay. Most of the files downloaded, but the images opened in a browser window, which is highly undesirable. And while the PDF did download, it too opened in a browser when I opened it. For experiment number two, I used the Safari browser and the file attachment link to download the same files. In this case, Safari only downloaded three of the eight file types. Images still opened in the browser and several files actually launched in their applications. Experiment number three used the Firefox browser again with the file attachment link to download the same group of files. As you can see here, none of the files directly downloaded. Firefox was by far the most frustrating to work with download wise. In most cases, I got a pop-up box asking if I wanted to open or save the file. And once again, images opened in another tab like the other browsers. These three experiments do a lot to understand why some files seem to behave one way while others do something entirely different. But we don't want to stop there. I know you don't want just answers, but you want solutions too. Putting the frustration behind us, it's time to innovate. If you haven't checked out my HTML and CSS cheat sheet for forms, you may want to now. To fix our download issue, I'll be using one of the 20 code snippets included on the cheat sheet. Using the download attribute of the anchor tag, I made a new download link that references the same attachment, only forcing the browser to download the file. Here also is a second option utilizing the file name as the link. To get all these details and that cheat sheet, head over to the QuickBase Junkie blog at quickbasejunkie.com slash blog. Now equipped with my new download link, I return to Chrome for experiment number four, downloading the same files from QuickBase as before. Bingo, all eight files directly downloaded, even the images. Let's see how the other browsers do. Experiment number five utilized Safari and the new formula link to download the same files. Once again, a home run. Similar to Chrome, Safari consistently downloaded all of the files, including images and the PDF. For the sixth and final experiment, I returned to Firefox with the new link to download the files. This was not the result I was expecting. I actually think it may be a little worse. The images overrode the window that QuickBase was in. However, we did have two clear winners with both Chrome and Safari. My conclusion, using a formula download link is the winner, overcoming the differences across browser and file types. If this is a big issue for you, I encourage you to run your own set of experiments. Use the browsers, types, versions that are common in your office, as well as the file types you use with QuickBase. But wait, there's more. Simply adding the formula download link won't solve the problem because users may get confused on which link to click. To solve this, check out the full solution over at the QuickBase Junkie blog by searching for attachment or using the link below. I know I learned a lot going through these experiments. If you run your own experiment or implement this solution, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Thanks for checking out the QuickBase Junkie blog. 
If you learned something new, please like this video, and to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBaseJunkie.com.